Welcome to our story, the Art Councils of Wyndham County show profoundly thriving arts and creative life of Wyndham County and sometimes beyond. I'm your host, Esler, and today we have a pretty good show. Oh man, today we have Tom Jenks, we have Chantelle, you won't, you haven't to read there, um, and, um, and today we have a uh, pretty good show. We're going to be talking about your art and also talking about extravaganza that's happening pretty soon. Um, so, uh, let's, let's start with you, Shanta. Well, first of all, how are you guys doing? You guys doing good? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Well hydrated for the... the yes. Cool. Yes. That's good. So, Shanta, what's, what's going on with the extravaganza? So, um, art extravaganza, many of you have heard about it for several months, and Tom here is involved. We're so excited. Uh, it's going to be a whole weekend and just one big party the first weekend in May, uh, May 6th through the 8th. And we're promoting it throughout New England and within Vermont. And we have many partners. Uh, and the, the whole purpose is to pull the curtain back on all of the vibrant and cultural and artistic life that we have here in Wyndham County. Nice. Do you have like how many people are performing? Or, like, I can actually estimate? give you a sense of, and uh, I'm being totally 21st to 22nd century and eco friendly here. Um, it's going to be big. This thing is it's going to be huge. Yeah, yeah. So we have Friday night is going to be kicking off at the River Garden. So we have African dance. We also have belly dancers. We have the moon dogs who are going to be playing live. We have the celebration brass band who are going to be playing live music as well. Um, and between that, that same night, while that's happening, we have uh, NECA, the New England uh, Center for the Circus Arts. They are going to be performing right across from the Whetstone restaurant. And uh, we're also partnered with the Diversity Day group. They're, they're actually the WSESU Diversity Equity Committee. And they're doing Diversity Day down at the museum that day on May 6th. So that's all happening. On Saturday, May 7th, we have Art Market. And we also have Kids Place that's going to be pl planning something family friendly Oriented. and fun yes and that night we have a whole range of storytelling that is going to use everything from comedy and music and puppetry uh, and so we're looking for tellers who may want to be involved with that throughout the weekend there is also going to be a feature of arts after dark uh, showing more art so we have three poets who are going to be down at Super Fresh on Friday night uh, and a few of the restaurants and local businesses doing things at night. Tom here is going to be doing some projections at night uh, outside where people be, will be able to see and enjoy. And Sunday is going to be wrapping up with uh, the latches. We partnered with the Vermont International Film Foundation. They have a film that's 100 years old. It was the first what? film um, that was ever filmed in, in Vermont in really? 1916. And so it's their fundraiser, and they were partnered with them, and they're showing that at the Latches on May 8th, Sunday, May 8th. So... We're very excited about all of this, and we have lots of partners involved nice. that I'd like to shout out if I have a moment. All right, but like in one second. Okay. Uh, That's so yeah, <laughs> one second's up. So. Um, in addition to the Arts Council of Wyndham County, we have fellow collaborators that include 118 Elliott Street, Sand Glass Theater, um, as I mentioned, New England Center for the Circus Arts, uh, the WSESU Diversity Equity Committee, the Downtown Brattleboro Alliance, the Shiatsu School of Vermont, the Brattleboro Food Co-op, Latches Arts, Right Action, and so many other artists 
and so many other individuals. I also want to give a big thanks to a couple of our sponsors, the Richards Group and the Shiatsu School of Vermont. We are still looking for many other individuals who would be either willing to volunteer their time or if they'd be willing to contribute and become a feature sponsor or artists who want to be a part of our huge slideshow that we're doing on Friday and mm -hmm. we have a 3D chalker. There's just a lot. A bunch of stuff. There's a stuff. bunch of stuff. Uh, check out our Facebook event page. If you look up Art Stravaganza, Brattleboro, and we're also reaching out to many people throughout Wyndham County to celebrate this. Uh, check that out and that will be updated in our Facebook post and uh, you can contact me as well and that information will be flashed. True. Nice. So well, I'm really excited. And again, thank you for all the sponsors. Without you, this is, wouldn't be, you know, possible. So you're you're nice. Anyways, she mentioned you on the you're gonna be performing at the lashes, Tommy. That's that's totally. Cool. I'm very excited. Nice. So, so are you, so you you're from a, from the area, right? Yep. Bikini. Southern New Hampshire. Been in Brattleboro a couple years. Nice. And uh, I've been trying to put stuff up in a few little galleries, but uh, what I really love to do is to come go to festivals out mm -hmm. in New England, music and arts fest. Yeah. And uh, in the past, I've done some live painting, but uh, this year my thing is going to be the digital art mm -hmm. live, yeah. and I'd love to uh, offer it to people to explore and try out. Yeah, I actually saw you not that long ago with Wyatt and. Um, and Jet playing at the 119 on Street. Um, uh, so how did you get started with this uh, kind of digital art stuff? Uh, the digital art, I think, just came from seeing other people's digital art. Um, uh, one way it actually came also is that I've been really into making stencils, cutting mm -hmm. out geometries and shapes and symbols, mm -hmm. and then arranging them. And so I think that's been a way to use this, the digital, I want to say intelligence mm -hmm. of like having a specific thing and mm -hmm. then you kind of collage it. And so I was using that with spray paint mm -hmm. and uh, it's just morphed into this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something cool that I, that I noticed that you did was you, you, you you mess around with black light in your posters. I remember seeing like a stuff that it was like all kinds of uh, colors. It was changing as, as yeah. the lights were hitting it. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, is that one of the shirts that you designed? Yep. Oh nice. wow. I, you designed shirts too. Uh, this past summer, I did a lot of uh, bleach stencils. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so cool. Spray bleach through a plastic. Oh, wow. And each one is different, oh, which is wow, cool. What about that fun. button? Did you make the, that button? I too? made the button too. What? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Nice. What about the hat? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the cool thing about being an artist. You just get creative with uh, all kinds of uh, stuff that you wear. So can you like show, like, I, I would like to explain to people what he means by live digital uh, uh, stuff. So we, we're going to do some live, um, some live painting. Sure, and can you explain yeah. what program we're using and like what this is? We're using Sketchbook here. And I did this drawing just before we started, but I was thinking... I could take off the layers here and just like give a hint of what my sort of process is. Now, one thing that you like to do is uh, you like to uh, to have a musician, right? Yeah. And today we don't have a musician here, so I'm just going to pretend to be one. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to play something. And you can explain it if you want. I'm just going to okay. uh, see. I just want to look. I like to start out with kind of a scribbly line thing. It's very just uh, kind of to get the small little movements of whatever is kind of flowing through. How 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 much time do you uh, usually spend on a painting? Um, I've had really good ones come out in a couple hours. Sometimes I'll go back into it and add stuff. Uh, it can be really quick though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have these layers and I just add a layer on top. And then I'll maybe do a little airbrushing. Get some color on oh, top 
top cool. of the white lines. One thing I love about it is it seems like people have a little more ease dropping into it because there's less like expensive uh, materials used. It's it's impermanent. Also less toxic, right? Yeah. Nice. I would yeah. say so. Yeah, I like that. And do you? Because this is almost like mirroring everything. I wonder if you also like do like just landscapes that are not. Yeah. Kind of. Um, I also do a little like abstract uh, acrylic paint. Acrylic, nice. Some some splatter pour. Getting more into paintbrush now. Um, um, yeah, I could see myself doing more landscape-ish, just to give the sense of like a space being there. Some recognizable like sky really is helps. So I'll kind of add a bunch of stuff, colors, and then what I like recently is the blending. Oh, nice. You mess everything together. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I could, like, save this as layer, do something above it, and that way people, you know, people could be um, less attached. If they know it's saved, I'll go back to it later and I'll go crazy again. Nice. So where, where can people, I guess, find more about your uh, art and, and uh, get hooked up to your stuff? Yeah, I post a lot of it on my Facebook page, Tom Jenks Art, on Facebook. Nice. Uh, I also have a, a website that's called Being Catalyzed. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, it has a bunch of art for my stuff. Nice. And uh, you probably see me at a bunch of festivals with um, a whole bunch of setup and stuff. Nice. And actually, that's another thing. We're we're going out to festivals. We're bringing a, uh, a icosahedron dome, mm -hmm. and bringing it for uh, space for people to mm. paint in and oh, that's fun. kind of download their yeah. transformation. Nice. Yeah. And again, when are you gonna be at the Latches? Just so uh, we repeat it again. The month. He's gonna be there the, the whole the whole month, month at the Latches of May, May and doing some projections and things throughout the weekend for Art Stravaganza. Nice. I, am I allowed to say one more thing? Yes. Just one more. I just. <laughs> well, it's important for people to know that for the Arts Council of Wyndham County that this is our way of not only trying to revitalize our monthly gallery walk, but also to build relationships. So we're hoping through this to just continue to build the relationships well beyond the weekend and we're just very thrilled to have everybody involved. So thank you everybody who's been so supportive and especially all the artists who have been so forthcoming with all of their work and there's still time to get your stuff in. Nice, cool. Um, so now, uh, now that we've been uh, around talking about stuff, uh, thank you for coming. This is a pretty cool stuff. Check out his, uh, the website that we already talked about and Facebook page. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, we're gonna go now to a special um, reports on the streets kind of not really we're gonna go to the studios and um and uh i guess for but you guys are not gonna be here you're gonna be gone so whenever the camera we may comes come back, with you we may follow you you may follow me <laughs> don't know yet, but i'm definitely after this i'm gonna go check out some stuff you're going to you're you gonna there. see cat nun right yes i we're love gonna, her actually i'm gonna transform myself right now to her studio real quick. <laughs> well i guess i have to like own first <sighs> I am from uh, Washington, D.C. originally. Then I lived in England for three years, and then I moved to New York for 15, and D.C. for 13, and then I came here. Actually, relatively speaking, I discovered it pretty late in life. I was a graphic designer for 30 years, and I was so, I was so unhappy, I was so burnt out, and um, I just decided to take a painting class to try and get my mojo back. Believe it or not, um, all through art school, I never 
did this. <laughs> I never did it. I was computer graphics, and um, I was 45 years old before I realized I could even do this. Wow. I took a painting class at night, and I never looked back. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh! <laughs> so did you like I love figure. I love figure and portrait. Portraits are my thing, but you, in my opinion, it really is helpful to understand the human anatomy that's underneath that to make it read properly in your painting. So yeah, I do. I studied with um, uh, Robert Liberace in Virginia, and if you ever look up his work, uh, oh man, the guy's anatomy. The guy, he's just he's. They call him the Michelangelo of today, and that is no exaggeration. So I studied with him for a couple of years before I moved up here, and that's when I just so fell in love with anatomy and the human figure. This is, yeah. If this place caught fire, I would not save a single painting. I'd go for this shelf. <laughs> is there, a, is there not, one book that you really like out of this one? Oh, uh, sorry, any sergeant. Any John Singer sergeant book you can get. That's, Who is that? Oh, yeah, sergeant. I don't, I'm not uh, um, well educated on this. <laughs> Sergeant is a god. Um, you would know. You would know, Sergeant. He is um, one of the greatest, por the greatest portrait painter of all time. I mean, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, the whites. See, like, Sergeant was an impressionist. People think impressionism Trying to find, there's the uh, there's the doctor. You know the the real tall portrait. It's a doctor in a red robe. It's super famous. Um, Madame X. Hmm. Um, the woman uh, in the where's Madame X? Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, I've seen that. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's he's my idol. I don't think there was. I wish I could find Madame X in here. Madame X is the. Um, profile of the woman uh, in the strapless she's got this wicked funky nose very big nose and she's got in this black strapless dress with the um, I'd have to look it up anyway sergeant sergeant's the man man there is nobody better but you know you've got a lot of um, like I said all of them uh, Zorn Cecilia Bow because she was a woman so I love that women Women couldn't, uh, women couldn't, uh, couldn't do figure drawing mm. back then. They, they, they weren't, it, it was a sneaky, it was a sneaky little thing. You, you had, in order to become a professional artist, you had to be like certified. And um, you could not become a certified professional artist unless you did figure drawing and male and anatomy. And the women were not allowed to do figure drawing and male anatomy. So you could never become a certified, a real professional artist because you weren't allowed to look at naked men. It was ridiculous. So, and uh, yeah, the, so this is the more, this is the working area over here, which is just basically where I keep all my paintings that are um, uh, finished or, or half finished. This is for a children's book I'm writing um, to uh, raise money for shelters. It's, it's a story of um, how scary it is to be. It's all told from the cat's perspective and how scary it is to get adopted. You don't know what's going on and then you get put in this crazy weird cat hotel and it's just, so anyway, that's, that's, that's different. You can see stylistically that's, that's real different from everything else. Um, but I'm doing that just for the fun of it. Just finished um, Stephen Stearns of NEYT fame so beloved by the whole community. He's uh, retiring or semi-retiring and um, Prudence Baird commissioned this portrait to be done for him to hang in the lobby. Almost done. Still working on the, still working on this. Um, so this is going to hang in the lobby at the theater. Pretty, I'm pretty, definitely pleased. With that part. Yeah, the face is face. Spot yeah, on. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's bright, but you know that's his outfit up there on the wall over there. So that it is. it is. That's what it is. It's bright. <laughs>
but it's Steven too, you know, so he's just such, the, the nicest compliment I got on this was somebody said, um, I've never met this man, but I can tell already I like him, I can see the kindness in his eyes, and I was like, yes, I got it, it's the best compliment I've ever gotten on anything, because every, that's the thing that everybody says about him, he, everybody loves him so much, he's the most kind, generous guy, so that was real important to me. So, almost done. It's going to be done in ne sometime next week. Should be finished. This area, I've actually got three really good uh, setups for students. I can do, I can set up one student over here. Um, this is some more of my paintings. This is, um, a lot of people would recognize this guy, uh, Doug Cox, makes violins in West Baden. This is his portrait the best client you could ever ask for. Oh my God, he's so nice. Not often does somebody commission you and say, just, you're the, you're the artist, do what you do. He, no restrictions, he gave me total creative freedom on it. And I, I love him and I love the painting. How, how did you get to this point? Did you take a picture of this or were you just there watching him? Both. We did a photo shoot. Um, I brought my linen shirt in for him to wear because I wanted that rumbly texture. I wanted it to have a timeless feel, so like polyester fabrics weren't gonna, you know, wouldn't look so vintage. And I did a photo shoot, but there's never, I'm learning from this and, and from the Stephen Porter, there's never one photograph that's gonna do it all. And you have to know how to put them all together. Take the arm off of this one, the head off of this one. That's why anatomy is so important. Mm -hmm. And have it look anatomically correct. So yeah, this was a whole lot of different and actually, I did this, um, when I first did this portrait, he was where he is. But I didn't realize until afterwards that this, this cabinet line was running exactly horizontal to the top of the uh, frame. And so I took the whole bench and rotated it around him. That was quite a feat. I was proud of being able to do that, actually. Um, lesson learned studies. If I had done smaller, many small studies before jumping on that, I would have avoided having to do that. I do I have my own website. It's katherinenun.com. That's C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E-N-U-N-N. -E -E -N -N. So it's my name, .com. And um, if anybody is interested in figure drawing or private art lessons, like I said, I do that too. Uh, very cheap. Because I want to make it affordable for people. I mean, that is my actually my main concern. That's why with the drawing group, I don't make any money off of it. I just want to make it accessible for people to come and be able to have a figure to draw. Um, so that's my main concern. A lot of people tell me that I, you know, I should or could charge more, and, and I don't. I'm not, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it to do it. So if, it, if you get more people because it's more affordable, yay, that's that many more people that you're sharing knowledge with. So yeah, there's, the, there's my website and um, anybody can get in touch with me through that. There's a contact the artist button on there and um, yeah, call me. Anybody who's interested, call me. More the better. It's a big sandbox. We can all play together in it. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs>